So Equalizer 3 with Denzel Washington is a complete inversion of historical reality. I don't have time to go into this. I'm not an expert on this subject. But uh, over 12 years ago, I read a book about Operation Gladio. And I watched Equalizer 3 on my way to um, Rwanda uh, a few weeks ago. And I I was absolutely shocked. Now, Denzel's great in just about everything. Um, You know, we love Denzel. Uh, This is deep state CIA propaganda. I mean, absolutely inversion of historical reality. The fact that it's set in Italy uh, and the people who are doing the terrorist attacks are uh, the mafia. You know, it's always the mafia. And of course, there is mafia um, probably tied in. I don't know. I'm not connected with them. Probably tied in with the CIA in reality. But in the, in you know, spoiler alert... Okay, spoiler alert. I'll say it one more time. Spoiler alert. Equalizer 3 inverts what really happened. What really happened, there was a thing called Operation Gladio. This is not a conspiracy theory. G-L-A-D-I-O. Been well documented. The Italian parliament has uh, documented it. No less uh, a prestigious uh, you know, uh, body than the Italian parliament documented the fact that across Europe, um, the um, paleo CIA, whatever it was called at that time, again, I'm not an expert, do a fact check on me, tell me I'm wrong. Um, they took over the Nazi, existing Nazi cells uh, during the Nazi um, uh, occupation of um, Europe, the parts that they occupied, and they, the American government ran them for decades. And every time a, um, you know, a Marxist, they used them as they weaponized them for, for the Cold War. Immediately, there was a direct transition. They even kept the Nazis in, in uh, most or many cases, in their positions of authority in these cells. And then that became the CIA. And they actually did, the Italian parliament, you look up Operation Gladio, did terror bombings in Italy and elsewhere. They bombed train stations. In other words, the things that Equalizer 3 portrays the mafia as doing, and they portray the CIA working with Denzel Washington, you know, as being the good guys, stopping the bad guys from blowing up innocent women and children, okay, is in reality, (laughs) is exactly what the fucking CIA did to innocent people. They blew people up, and the justification was they're trying to, it was when they were trying to get, you know, Marxist or communist USSR linked politicians into um, office. They had popular support in Italy and I think other European countries, but Italy was foremost in exposing this uh, American deep state operation. Um, They blew up train stations. I recall that vividly from the book. I don't even remember the name of the book. I'll try to follow up on this later. But you people are intelligent. This Equalizer 3 is a total inversion. They take the people who really bombed train stations and bombed innocent people in um, Europe by keeping in place Nazi cells for decades, okay, in Operation Gladio, the same people who were dumping, uh, uh, running uh, hard drugs and dumping them on Harlem and on uh, uh, black people across America, thinking that it would only affect the black people, you know. Those same people were the ones actually doing what the bad guys were doing in Equalizer 3. I mean, literally. Literally, people overuse that word, but I mean literally doing those things that are depicted in Equalizer 3, the CIA was doing them. And Equalizer 3 depicts the CIA as the heroes. So um, don't be fooled. People with more uh, a wider knowledge base than me should uh, call and and more skill at making uh, videos and podcasts, things like that should call this out. But somebody has to be the little girl who says the the king not only has no clothes. I mean, the king is utterly inverting what what the historical reality of what happened, and it's far past time we should wake up, wake up, and stop being manipulated by these satanic assholes.